It's quickly turning to that time of year that golfers hate. But what changes should you make in your golf bag for this coming off season? Let's do it, and let's do it now. Hi everyone, my name's James Robinson and welcome to this YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm gonna to talk to you about what changes you should make not only in your golf bag, but also with your golf game for the coming off season. So you'll see today we're off the yellow tees. It is the 2nd or the 3rd of November. I'm not quite sure, is it the 3rd? It is the 3rd of November, the white tees are away. Usually I'd hit driver on this hole, we're on the 16th hole at Huddersfield Golf Club, but I'm actually gonna hit a three wood just to make sure I'm having a good workout with all the clubs in my bag. Not bad, we'll take it. So what changes are we gonna make in the bag, you ask? So first of all, you can see guys, I am today using a small pencil bag with half a set of irons. Now I've been doing this throughout the season anyway, but you might actually find that doing this during the winter just makes it easier to walk around the golf course. It means you don't always have to go around ropes and things like that. And sometimes when you're using buggies, when you're using trolleys, it can be quite difficult to navigate you around a golf course quickly and easily. And one of the beauties about using half a set is not only is your golf bag light, easy and portable, but also it makes you think about certain shots when you're playing golf rather than just getting a yardage and hitting full shots all of the time. Most of the time when you are playing golf in winter, it's gonna be non-qualifying, it's not gonna be overly competitive. And my main target when playing winter golf is to make sure I'm better towards the end of it. You can see here, I'm actually using a cheaper golf ball today. I say cheaper, I am still trying to keep it consistent. I've lost a handful of balls today through no real fault of my own. You can see it's a low sun, you generally do get that in winter, and there's also a lot of leaves on the ground. We've got 160 yards in, that's exactly why we hit a three wood off the tee. We've got a forward tee, and last thing I want to do is just hit wedges in all of the time. I also get some practice with the three wood as well. Go. That was the worst strike of the day by far. So a couple of other changes that I'm making in the bag for winter as well. And guys, if you learn anything from this, get in the comments below and let me know it's helping. Because as I said, I'm using half a set of irons, but I've actually kept all three wedges in there. I've got the 50, the 56 and the 60, because for me, I still want to be able to practice an array of shots around the greens. So when we come out of winter, we come out of the off season, my short game's sharp enough. So the eight iron wasn't our best strike, and unfortunately it's come a little bit short, but this leads us on to another area. We're just gonna step over this rope now because we're not, have, we don't have any wheels. But this leads us on to another area about experimenting with different shots. Now, you know me, usually I love to get a lob wedge on shots, maybe a sand wedge on shots, but this is the time of year where I experiment, not only around the greens, but maybe with bump and runs, just seeing if my technique can hold up to that kind of shot. I may even throw another golf ball down and test myself against the shot that I would have played before that if I can find a golf ball. So that was an eight time bump and run, and that's at about six feet, and the lob wedge shot, not the best. It was never a lob wedge shot there. But experimenting can sometimes give you the confidence to then use those shots when the season restarts in April. Oof, April. Now, winter isn't always the best time of year. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Easy a look. Winter isn't always the best time of year to look at new putters. It might be a great time of year to experiment maybe with a couple of new clubs off the tee, maybe even a few more irons or wedges. But for me, you have to consider the greens aren't gonna be as consistent this time of year as maybe in the summer. So you have to lower your expectations a little bit. Lower your expectations with the putter. PGA Tour and European Tour averages are taken not only with the best players in the world, but also on the best surfaces in the world. So just accept that sometimes, sometimes you can hit a good putt and it goes out. Sometimes you can just pull it that was nothing to do with the green. That's a five. 
let's move on sometimes in winter you will see on par threes we have mats like this it's very important you don't get used to hitting off mats too much if you spend a lot of time at the driving range as well how far do you reckon we've got here 150 i'm going to hit a full eight iron but sometimes you can get away with a little bit too much on these mats you can maybe catch it a bit fat you can damien it so make sure you don't get overly used to that what did you get it as dalt right i'm going to go with the big eights into the wind we're just going to try and play a nice cut in there so i'm going to try and work on a couple of different shot shapes as well in the off season i'll well, be good then Oh, that's delightful. Thank you very much. So today is a prime example of a winter's day. We've been out here playing. We had a, a game this morning, didn't we? Me and Dalton took on Gaz and Foxy. We absolutely hammered them. Nothing to do with you. Gaz just played horrendously. Um, but... <laughs> he does, he just does. You did win two holes. But it's so important as well to keep playing for something during the winter. Don't always just go out there and try and work on your game. Try and keep that competitive edge going. Because you'll be surprised if you turn up in April or May and you've not either had a card in your hand or played some kind of pressure match, you might struggle to get back into it. You've got to be feeling them nerves. Although there were no nerves today, mate, were they? There were no nerves today at all. See, now Dalton's got his trolley, so he's got to leave the trolley there and go around. Whereas we can just saunter through with our pencil bag and half set and uh, it's easy. Quite happy with that shot as well, yes please. Tell you what, I only just, uh, only just fitted through there. Now earlier on I mentioned about not expecting too much on the greens, lowering your expectations a little bit. But that doesn't mean to say you shouldn't stick to your routine and if you haven't got a routine, maybe use this winter, use this off season as a chance to get a routine so make sure you read the green as you know you can stick to whatever routine you've had or that you're trying to get and then from there just make sure that the pace is right even down to taking the flag out leaving the flag in whatever you're allowed to do at the moment make sure you stick to it i do love the alignment aid on this ad triple three this is for a birdie two Oh, never enough. Never enough. That's a three. Another thing to think about is holding out as well. I've just nonchalantly knocked that back. But remember, short putts count for just as much as long putts, as much as iron shots, bunker shots, drives off the tee. And if you miss a couple in winter, it doesn't matter. You can put it down to a bad green, to a bobble. If you start making a few in winter, you're building that confidence level up. So don't just knock them in like I've just done there. Learn from my mistakes. I also mentioned earlier about using a cheaper golf ball. And by that, I don't mean go and buy whatever's on offer that week in the pro shop. If you can find a golf ball that you like for winter that's not too expensive, again, such as maybe a Shrixen or something like that, that is a little bit cheaper, but try and keep it as consistent as you can because if you're using different golf balls every time you go out there, they're gonna launch differently, they're gonna have different spin characteristics, they might even go slightly different yardages. So you just confuse yourself. Pick a ball that you don't mind losing, but is gonna be consistent throughout the bag. See if we can fit through here a bit better this time. Oh, nope, accident. Just working on Fox's aim, aren't we, in the off season. Stuff to work on, cold mate. Oh my so God. good, so good. I should be a PJ for a You should be. So I know I mentioned earlier that sometimes you don't want to be keeping score, but sometimes to grow that confidence, you do want to keep score. On a par five now, we're on the yellow tees because it's winter and because the forward, we're going to drive it. We're going to try and bomb one down there. We've already made one eagle today. And sometimes it's just nice to build a bit of confidence, especially when you're playing with the boys. and get down there as far as you can. Oh, that was nice. Shrixen as well. What nice that wind just to kick up just as you're about to whistle. I know. And I know a lot of you guys might be thinking, well, you're kind of contradicting yourself there because first of all, you're saying, use this time to work on your game, use this time to not worry too much about your scoring. But then I suppose it depends where you are with your game. If you're at a stage where you want to work on something, you want to tweak something, 
there's no better time than now. But if you're playing well, keep that score going, keep the momentum going, and play as much competitive golf as you possibly can. Let's go find where that is. Right, as you come over the hill, three pretty friendly drives down there. Nice one, Foxy. Gaz would be here, but he's uh, cried off. Something about socks, yeah, I don't know if you'll watch. Dolan's just hit one all over it. Oh, that's filthy. That's filthy. I'm sorry, I didn't get the swing, but... So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to try and play a little bit of a different shot, a bit of a low four iron, and run it up. Again, I'm using this time of year just to play maybe different shots that I wouldn't play whilst maybe trying to make a score. Dalton's definitely going to make a four there, maybe even an eagle three. See if we can match him. Oh, I'll stay there. I struck that so good as well. It's green side, isn't it? It's not bad. Miles better, Foxy. And it is absolutely amazing how sometimes when you do play golf and you're out with your friends, we've just come across something here which could well transform his game a little bit. We're going to get him to stand a little bit further away. And I try not to kind of talk to him too much about stuff like this. I know a lot of people will say, why don't you give him more lessons, give him more lessons, give him more lessons. If every time I saw him, I was giving him a lesson, he'd get bored of me and uh, vice versa. And one of the biggest points as well, when you do play winter golf, is don't forget to enjoy yourself. The reason why you're here, the reason why you come out and play golf, the reason why we've come today, there the plan was to play 18 holes, three of us have managed, one of us has gone in after 11. I'll let you decide who that was. Make sure you embrace it and enjoy it together as a group of mates. Friends! Okay, so Dolan's got that put for an eagle three, and we've got this chip to hopefully try and salvage a four. Now, mud balls are certainly a thing this time of year. Let me know if you want me to do a video on that, actually. But short game, such good practice for short game this time of year. Come on. Oh, sit. Oh, such good practice for short game. Ugh. Okay, that certainly wasn't ideal. The good news is we got more practice for short game. I'm not beating myself up because it's winter golf. Come on, doll, let's see an eagle. Yes! Fist bump if you've had an eagle today. <laughs> right guys, I'm going to finish the video and try and chip in for birdie. If not, I really don't mind. It's winter golf. We've enjoyed ourselves. I'm not going to beat myself up too much. That wasn't very good, I know. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Really hope you've enjoyed that. If you have, smash that subscribe button below. Apart from that, I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye!